Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Kevin with survivalistboards.com. In a previous video, we talked about using uh, utility right-of-ways, high lines, pipelines, railroad tracks as alternate bug out routes. Oh man, yeah, I'm a little winded. Now, in this video, let's talk about some of the benefits of using these like power lines and pipelines as alternate bug out routes. And that couple of miles that way there's a set of railroad tracks a couple of miles another side of railroad track another couple of miles is a highway and people are lazy we are creatures of habit we're gonna take the easiest easiest way out we're gonna take the easiest route people let's say when there's some type of event whether it's viral plague or some type of hemorrhagic fever airborne hemorrhagic fever nuclear war something like that people have to leave the cities they're going to drive their vehicles as far as they can until the vehicles run out of gas get out start walking highways nice level ground i mean it's not like here with holes and dips and creeks and everything that you have to cross by by hand or by foot and then a lot of them are going to stay on the highways there's houses nearby stuff like that some of them are going to migrate over to the railroad tracks we talked about the railroad tracks in another video and it's nice, flat, but rocky ground. Then you've got places like this, of where these, uh, these places, like these high lines, these pipelines, cut through rural areas. The only roads are like utility uh, four-wheeler ATV trails or tractor trails, stuff like that, where they can keep it cut down. And you have to be in a certain amount of physical condition to be able to transverse this type of soil. I mean, you're not going to be able to do this in a wheelchair or if you're on crutches or, I mean, you just, you have to be in a certain amount of physical condition. So as we go from the highway to the railroad tracks to the pipelines and high lines, this is a high line. It's a uh, feeder cable that goes from Southeast Texas into Louisiana that there's going to be fewer and fewer people on these type of routes as compared to the highways and railroad tracks little ponds like this along the utility right away may have perch in them if they go into a another creek that creek will have perch in it and then whenever the creek floods during heavy rains the perch will get and sometimes little small catfish which grow at a big catfish will get washed into these little sloughs so as you're scouting these, these utility right aways then you know that hey i know i've got water here I know I may be able to fish, set up camp, and then sometimes these will go into another tributary. And here's the creek. This is probably the that little pond, little slough area that we saw. This is probably, uh, this one here, whenever it gets high, will probably overflow into the other one. Now that's an old bottle. Pepsi Cola. They quit making these years and years and years ago. Styrofoam. They used to make these with styrofoam. This reminds me from the 1980s. Man, oh man, this has been out here for a long time. One of the benefits of used in these utility right-of-ways is I mean, you're going to run into another do a bunch of these little small streams here's another one just stop filled up my canteens uh, canteen canteen bandana water filter I've got some food inside there I mean it's just these rolling hills it's just these rolling hills and ever so often in between these hills these roll, little small rolling hills you'll run into these natural streams or these, these streams as I get older it gets more and more difficult to stay in shape. I mean, it's just like you have to constantly stay some type of act, 
stay active some way somehow really watch what you eat what watch what you drink and i used to be able to eat a cheeseburger coke never gain a pound and then it got to where i uh, eat a cheeseburger coke and i was almost a notice i mean next couple of days i noticed a pound that i put on so i'd have to stop eating for little stop eating cokes and burgers for a little bit and now i mean it's gotten to the point where i rare very rarely ever drink a coke so it's usually unsweet tea no sweetener in it whatsoever just tea no artificial sweetener no sugar no nothing or water or milk i mean that's uh anyway i don't know what time it is i'm gonna guess somewhere around 10 o'clock and sun's starting to come up walking in the shade of this high line the next water source i come to i'm gonna stop and take a break get some lunch just man i'm out of shape guys honest truth i am out of shape everyone i hope y'all enjoyed the video and hopefully we've covered some topics giving everybody some ideas of uh, using these high lines or power lines call it called power lines high lines whatever different people call them different things and using these as a bug out route or a navigational route to get from one city to the next because these will run from say a generation station to out to a city and then from one city to the next city but through the wilderness area. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. I will talk to you later.